okay now in this you can see anterior interosseous nerve syndrome here the anti anterior interosseous nerve are paralyzed this is the normal hand and this one is the abnormal hand i have already explained that so here this is the normal action of flexor pollicis longus as well as flexor digitorum profundus so uh, if you make uh, if you want to touch these two fingers at the tips uh, in the normal condition we can flex here at the interphalangeal distal interphalangeal joints to get such kind of uh, grip this one is called as pinching grip this one is called pinching grip so in the abnormal what will happen the anterior interosseous nerve is affected so the muscles the flexor pollicis longus and as well as the flexor digitorum profundus supplied to the index finger is also affected so the person is not able to flex at this places okay what are the places here points the flexion at the interphalangeal joints of the thumb as well as the distal interphalangeal joints of the index finger and leading to a triangular sign so if you can see here so this forms the triangular sign here so this forms the triangular sign here okay so this is the abnormal type in this the pinching grip is lost so the person is unable to uh, lift the picking of objects so the person is not able to pick up the objects in this condition this is called as anterior interosseous nerve syndrome okay